Welcome back everyone. Today we are again up American Fort Canyon. We're uh, going to go find a road that goes up Mary Ellen Gulch, I believe is the name of it. So I'm not sure if I've ever actually been on that road or not. Um, I know I've been on several roads up here. Some haven't been for a long time. So if I have been on this one, it's been again 25 ish 30 years so anyway we're gonna go see what we can find and just enjoy our day out driving around hope you enjoy as steve and i were driving up here we were making comments about the difference of views if you take off the top and look out the open top versus just out the windshield. It is uh, such a better view to be able to explore the mountains without any kind of uh, top on so you can just look around. The road hasn't been, you know, too challenging. A couple of bumps. So we turned around a couple of times, found some dead ends. Um, this road behind me. I thought was the main road, but they've got a sign down there that says dead end and someone's camping. So we turned around and came back and found this road. Goes up the side of the hill there. Looks pretty gravelly, but uh, I think we'll put it in four low and see what we can do. You already tell the viewers how you're gonna do this? Well, I already did, but I'm going to put it in four low, first gear. Let's see if I can't just uh, scramble up it a little.
Keep coming. So the tree diversification up here is amazing. got pine trees, got some mahogany trees, you got scrub oak, and you have the occasional out there in the distance uh, aspen tree as well. It's beautiful. Coming up and making a left hand turn here probably could have been done. It would have been a couple, two, three point, four point turns, but we decided we'll uh, just go down this way a little bit until we find some place to turn around and then we'll continue up this road. See where it goes. Corner and on the 
other side, the rocks up there. So far it's been a beautiful drive. We came up that side road which was kind of challenging, had to use four low. Definitely need some bigger tire and clearance. Um, but this road, shy of a couple of you know big rocks here and there, it's been pretty easy. And I'm sure going back down the other way we'll find the same thing. But it's beautiful. So the road goes from just back to gravel, pretty flat, to little intermittent patches of rock. The grade gets kind of steep in a couple of spots. But overall, not too bad. You definitely will need some bigger tires, some ground clearance on this upper section or you're going to be you know hitting a few rocks here and there tires there down and four low definitely allows you to just slowly crawl up and over without having to worry too much not a lot of skill required but just uh, patience I think is the biggest thing well, we've come out in this basin. The first thing you see is some mine tailings. It looks like an old mine building of some kind. try to zoom in but there's uh, another little metal structure uh, up here there's some more mine tailings and uh, wood building up here, there as well so a lot of mining went on over the years up in this canyon and, you know all over this part of Utah so I don't know how much further this road goes but we will keep going until we come to a dead end. All right, so we got this big rock to climb up. We can either go out on the outside, um, but we're gonna see if we can't come in through the inside and just go up this, it's kind of notched, and just drive up both sides and, and see what happens.
I want to go to the passenger side just a little more. Got a tire in the air. Picking the right line the first time makes a huge difference. And watching the dude in front of you. And then watching the dude in front of you <laughs> yeah, can help was, out a lot. I was walking. Just makes that you walk awesome. right up it. All right, so we're going to uh, continue up this road to the end or as far as we can go. Take some video up there, sit and relax for a few minutes, and then. Uh, See what strikes her fancy at that point. Not the end of the road yet, but it's a spectacular view. You can uh, see the line sailing down there. A couple more over there. Got some back over on the hill behind us there. And the road keeps going. So this is not the end of the road, but the road turned off here. The road keeps going up there. We'll go explore that in a second. But it came to this mine shaft. Now, I am not one to go exploring into old mines and confined places simply because not only could there be a lack of air there could be dirty air and in this rock it could also be cave-ins this is all just loose shale type rock and uh, for me it's not taking it's not worth taking the chance <coughs> I want to live so anyway someone else can go explore that it's not for me but there is at least this mine that this road comes to as my eyes start to adjust, it looks like it goes back in there quite a ways. Off to the left. You won't, won't be able to see it on the camera, I'm sure, but it looks like there's a lot of people that 
I've hiked in the pretty cool breeze coming out of it. Doesn't really smell at this point, but again, I'm not one to take the chances. And yes, since there is a cool breeze coming out of it, it means there's another entrance somewhere for the air to come through and probably means also that it's not too dangerous, but it's just not for me. All right, here we have something that's uh, created a little nest. It's not too old, there's two of them. Don't know what they would be. Some kind of bird, some kind of monster, some kind of little ground squirrel. That's whatever that thing is there. Telling us, get away, get away. I don't know what that is. I'll have to go see if we can't find it on the internet somewhere. It was telling us it's to, like a mouse, but it's too big. But it doesn't look like some, a rat. Some kind of a rat, mouse, squirrel. Got a little house there. It's probably the one that's created these little mounds around the openings. Looks like there's an opening in the bottom of that one there. So we'll leave them be, and we will uh, continue on the road. So we came to the end of the road. I was not expecting it to come and end where it did but uh, it makes sense this is mineral basin and in mineral basin you have there's the tram at the top of the hill for a uh, snowbird and this is their mineral basin run and there's the bottom down there and uh, to get in here and build, you know, the ski tram would have been easiest on this road right here. Come up Mary Ellen Gulch the way we did. And then there's also this road here that goes down into the bottom. But I think that road or the road from Mineral Basin, if it was, you know, bulldozed over and smoothed out, one of those two would have been the best access probably at the time to build um, the little tram huts down there too. Now there's obviously roads, you know, that go up and over the top into Snowbird. And if I, uh, could hike a little bit better I would actually probably hike up there and just take a look it is all well to my knowledge it is public land that is being leased by the ski resort therefore they have it marked as private although I haven't seen a no trespassing sign on this up here that does say road closed no hunting no access but um, I haven't seen a no trespassing sign up here but you used to be able the road comes in from the bottom and you used to be able to drive it all the way up to the top of the basin and it just made a circle and then it, you know you come back down now past the edge of the rock right here um there's a a sign that says you know road closed um so that's as far as you can get up the mineral basin road without um incurring the wrath of someone so that will be one of our next trips as well or a trip we do sometime i don't know if it'll be this year it's getting kind of late in the year but um that'll be a trip we take it is a really nice road there's a couple of sections that you definitely need four-wheel drive uh you know clearance and bigger tires and uh but i don't think necessarily anything more tough than what we experienced on this road 
So anyway, look, you know, we hope you look forward to that. It'll be an upcoming video here soon. It's so peaceful and quiet. Since we got off the main road, AF Canyon Road, we have not seen another vehicle. Automobile, side-by-side, four-wheeler, nothing. All I can hear is the wind slowly blowing through the trees. Got some birds, some insects. Just peace. Over there uh, on the, in the distance on the other side, that little peak closest to us is Timpanogos Mountain. I don't know the names of the peaks down past it. I call them the Provo Mountains. Big gap between Tempanogos and the first peak there is Provo Canyon. American Fort Canyon is the gap, you know, the slope off of this side of Temp. So, uh, that's the end of the road. We uh, hope you guys enjoyed our, our drive. Um, we will bring you the next drive as soon as we can. Appreciate you supporting us and uh, please subscribe, share these videos and give us some comments on where you would like us to go.